Greetings, and welcome to the frozen shithole that is Hoth. As promised, we got a new diaphragm for the old Tecumseh auger, and we're going to show you how to install it. This is going to be a pretty quick video, and it shouldn't be that complicated because this is a pretty simple operation here. Let me get you zoomed in. Can you see everything? See what I mean, folks? Super simple. That diaphragm comes out and you can see it's, the brake fluid has made it sort of pliable, but it's still quite crusty. So we'll take our new carburetor kit. It's not a full carb kit. 99.9% .9 of the time, you don't need a full carb kit for these small engines. All right, so you see this? This is the new diaphragm. Focus. And you can see how much softer and pliable that is, right? That's like, that's really nice. Versus this crusty old one. Like, you know, it holds its shape. It's like a freaking, it's like a Pringle. That's no good. So just remember what side, there's usually a little gasket that goes on top. See? So it was on the big side and this was the out part. So just do it the same way and you'll be good to go. Lay it on top. Lay this on top. Come on. And then I just put the screws back through. Not all of them, because they, you know, tend to fall out. And then this is just like any gasket surface you're putting together. Don't pick one bolt and crank her all the way down. Go gently on all four. Just kind of like tightening lug nuts. I don't know why they don't just use hex heads for these. But there you have it. That's a diaphragm replacement. So now I'm going to show you how you can adjust the low speed focus, the low speed, high speed, and idle speed screws. This is like, these are fuel mixture screws. So low speed, I mean idle and high speed, I mean when you're uh, giving her the beans. So if it had a primer, I would prime it. This one doesn't have a primer. So we're just gonna go full choke and start pulling. too bad so as you can see it's really not that complicated um, we basically nailed it first try with the screws just at default settings um, that doesn't usually happen but hey I guess we got a good uh, diaphragm kit anyways if you guys liked the video be sure to leave a comment like maybe subscribe if you want to take along for the journey we got a bunch more projects to get to today so we're gonna start editing and doing some woodworking bye for now also, just as an aside, uh, these chainsaws are notorious. Everyone likes to joke that you got to keep pool on and pool on to get them all starting. Personally, I think you just have to learn how to tune a two-stroke. Um, as you can see, this one is pretty beat to shit, and you got to pull it maybe three times when it starts. If you'd like to see a specific video on this chainsaw, just leave a comment. I'm more than happy to give you a quick rundown on how it works.